YouTube, what is up? It's Neil Goodfella, Goodfella Neil, coming through with another sneaker rotation. Um, shout out to everybody that's been looking at my videos, the whole Memorial Day thing and all that. Um, go check that out, because I did drop like two to three videos that day, so definitely something you want to see. Um, so we rounding up this week sneaker rotation and uh, let me just get right off into it Sunday I end up rocking these joints right here I remember with these I didn't even think about it I just put them right on you know what I mean like this is one of them easy ones you could just put on you don't really gotta match too much so you know it's, it was one of those days hey got somewhere to go real quick boom just throw these on because they was right there so yeah um, not to shame the shoe or anything, but like, I'm, I'm not going to really too much wear this all like that. You know what I mean? So, uh, yeah. Midnight Navy Nike Sock Dark. Man, I wish I had my charcoal ones, but yeah. Uh, I appreciate this one though. Definitely clean. That's what I wore for Sunday. Monday, I end up rocking these beauties right here. Um, one of y'all, yeah, y'all already seen the, go look at the, uh, review of this um <clears throat> yeah man happy as hell to get this you know like the magic price for the jordans i've been picking up lately has been 130 so that's how much i end up paying for this shipped and after tax so got this straight from nike.com and y'all know that's brand new so yep crazy crazy look at the review too it's not just like a regular review it's like um I compare it to like the other one so yeah definitely worth it ceremony five gold five definitely something clean I've been wanting it for since it actually came out I just didn't want to pay that extra price with that 190 or whatever and then on eBay they were going for a little they were starting to go back up like at least 160 or more but yeah thank God for that restock shout out to you Nike clean and it's very seldom that I want Retro Plus colorways, but yeah, that one was it. When they hit, and I like them, like the Take Flight Ace, those are pretty clean too for to be a Retro Plus colorway. But yeah. Tuesday, I end up wearing the Bordeaux 7. This is one of them shoes that was like hard to take off, man, you know, with the whole look and everything. Go check out the review for this joint too. Crazy, clean, fly fresh. And this is one of the ones, one of them shoes that really doesn't need a review, but, you know, well, I mean, doesn't really need it on foot, really. Go check out my review for this one as well, because the review actually shows um, some comparisons and a few shoes from my collection. So, definitely worth it, definitely worth it. You know, now that I got X amount of kicks, I don't really have to just review that one whole kick like it's my first kick ever because some of these shoes I'm picking up in like different colors so it's easier to do like comparisons and stuff and you know tell the difference and see which one wins but yeah yep Bordeaux 7 Wednesday they end up rocking this joint right here and I forgot at the time I forgot to do a, a on foot so I'm gonna definitely try to get it on foot out to you guys as soon as I do it I'm gonna just post it that night I don't care if it's the weekday you know with on foot I just drop those sporadically you know what I mean so yeah I wore these joints and these are the hair sevens hair seven little brother right here but this is the Nike Air Flight Light 15 for symbolizing 2015 um, it's supposed to be i don't know if it's a hybrid or a low top of the white man can jump shoe but i like this shoe man it's clean definitely clean got this for like 50 or 60 bucks off ebay this is one of them sleepers um it's it turns heads when people see it especially because of that hair seven colorway to me since since they uh, retro these shoes uh this has been the best colorway to me then you got a, a few other ones like maybe the red and black like the Chicago Bull like colorway and then you got like a black and gray colorway but uh this one killed it for me man I think uh yeah I did a review on this but uh, some of my shoes I'm uh, uh I'm going through my reviews and I'm like oh man I didn't do it on foot for that one so 
it was either because of the weather or I was too busy so yeah expect this one soon because this is a nice summer shoe something that you could crack you know crack back out people don't even know it released and people be like damn you know where'd you get those from you know so go through my archives and you can find this as a review Thursday I end up rocking these joints right here and obviously I don't really have to say anything else about it so I end up rocking a black uh, the black Royals I forgot what I was wearing with this for me to actually have to wear it um, I don't know if it was that Nirvana shirt or what but yeah definitely clean definitely fly um, it's sad that uh, the OG colorway is hard to obtain because you know I like red too as well but yeah definitely nice to have the breads but you know get that later so this is what I wore was it Saturday oops so, uh, Thursday my bad Thursday Friday I end up rocking these joints right here and this is the Nike Air Flight 89 um, pretty simple and easy colorway you can practically wear with anything um, light rain I might wear this or whatever really I'm not the biggest fan of wearing shoes in the rain but but you know most of the time I'll be in cars and stuff like that so it's like going from one place to another or whatever uh, for like a, a large amounts of time so but yeah so I end up rocking this joint man crazy fly all that you got the curse of tongue on the top the air flight reminiscent of the Jordan 4 and uh I ended up just throwing on my uh, these one more time, man. I had to wear these because I ended up wearing these again. So for Saturday, I ended up rocking these, the gold fives. Because I know I wore these a few times, but I was trying to figure out. I was like, yeah, that's right. I did wear like two days. So, yep. You know how it is like when you first get shoes and then you wear them for like two, three days or something like that. So that's what had happened with this shoe. Uh, but definitely gonna see more of this throughout my sneaker rotation for the year also too, um, expect that soon either by the end of June or early July or something it's either June or July I'm a, uh, one of those months I'm gonna pick to actually do my top 10 kicks uh, that I'm feeling right now half of the year in that I already picked up so always do it it's just you know why wait all the way to the end of the year to do a top 10 when you can see what my top 10 is now first six months in first six seven months in and then I could we could compare later or whatever come the end of the year when everybody else is doing their top 10 of the year um, you know we, we can see the shifts or whatever between the shoes that come out you know that drop now and around that time so it, it definitely might be a shift but yeah definitely for sure this might definitely be top 10 man that go crazy see man it's a lot of people that be that be wanting kicks and stuff you know what I mean but as soon as they get them they be on to the next shoe you know what I mean you gotta appreciate what y'all got rock what y'all got and rock the shoe so they don't fall apart hopefully if you actually like the shoe you ain't sell it um, but I understand stuff happen in life sometimes you have to sell your stuff for just to get money or whatever so it is it is what it is man it's all good and man i've been down that road before too so rate comment and subscribe this is neil goodfella goodfella nail peace